So we're back and we're going to discuss myth number two, and that is that anybody can use a shotgun. <laughs> Man, I, I guess it's kind of like shotguns are a simple weapon, so anybody can use it. And there's some truth to it. But yeah, don't, don't go for that. All right, so the shotgun is a pretty simple weapon system, but using it in, in self-defense can, uh, can be complicated. It really can. First off, remember that the 12 gauge has a uh, very, it, it, it has heavy recoil. It's gonna, when you shoot it, yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna buck. So if you pointing it, you better be shoot, aiming at your target and hitting cause you know, you might not as be able to get as many shots off it is uncomfortable. Secondly, um, it's not always easy. It, let's say if you get to the point where you have to reload, it's not as easy to, you know, reload um because you reload them one at a time and plus um it has a minimum min <laughs> limited capacity so um i mean most of them what four five six seven shots you know i would probably wouldn't get a self-defense on four shots but you know five to seven you know that's not a lot so you need to make sure that you know how to um shoot this thing aim this thing hit your target uh to make it um easier don't just think that anybody could just pick it up and shoot it that is not the case and also if you have it in your house um if you move around with a handgun you know you can kind of get your handgun and just kind of move around pretty good shotgun um especially a full size one um um it's it's not as easy to be kind of maneuvering around the house with this shotgun so um if you do want, if you are going to use a shotgun for self-defense, I would recommend getting plenty of training uh, to make sure um, that you can use this thing effectively. It's kind of like a, a, a revolver, simple to use, but in stress, it can get kind of, you know, kind of difficult. You know, you have to make sure that every time you shoot, you need to pump it fully. If you should then shoot it and pump and don't pump it all the way and just kind of come back. That round might not load it to pop out, so you gotta make sure you get that straight. If you um, are in a, a gun battle and you are um, you run out of ammo, you need to know how to you know make sure you have uh, uh, extra uh, um, cartridges um, quickly, and you need to be able to reload them quickly. You know, if you done shot five to seven shots of a bug shot at the threat, and the threat is still coming, and you gotta reload, <laughs> that may be problematic. All right, get training. All right, so in my opinion, um, elderly, uh, novice shooters, uh, real, I guess, frail people, I, I wouldn't recommend the 12 gauge for home defense for them. But if you do, I just recommend getting training with it. You know, just don't go and thinking, okay, I got a shotgun. I'll just, uh, um, I'll just use that. A lot of times in these gun stores, they'll try to sell first-time gun owners revolvers and shotguns, revolvers and shotguns. Don't always buy what they're selling. Um, the revolver and shotgun may not be the best for you. All right, so just check and see um, if it is. So if you got any questions about um, the shotgun and anybody can use a shotgun, leave me a comment down below. Um, until then, you guys stay safe, shoot straight, keep training. We'll talk to you later. If you're a believer in the Second Amendment, please help us spread our message and defeat these social media anti-gun algorithms. We are a small channel, but you can help our voice be heard by leaving a comment, liking the video, subscribing to the, um, to the channel, or even um, hitting the bell button to make sure you're notified when we push a video out. We're here to speak for you and make sure that your, uh, your voice is heard and that your rights are not infringed. You can also help us support the channel. There's the link below where you can go buy fitting and tactical gear, pick you up a hat, <laughs> a shirt, you know, whatever to just kind of help uh, support the channel going forward. So until next time, stay safe, shoot straight, keep training, and carry a gun daily to keep you and your family safe. We'll talk to you guys next time.